In this episode of The Digital Jampreneur, we're going to look at my interview on the Credit Restoration Virtual Summit presented by the Caribbean Credit Repair Association. Let's go. As you've been learning all these amazing strategies to, um, you know, on credit and debt reduction, here's the thing. A great way to reduce your debt is to pay it off. So what I like to do is I like to teach people how to create another stream of income so that they can pay off your debt. And so what I want to talk to you guys about really quickly is how do you know what you have And how do you understand the skills that you have so you know what you can start in online businesses? Because here's the thing. Anyone can start an online business. Anyone can have a side hustle based on their skill set. And specifically, we're talking about an internet side hustle. And specifically, we're talking about, I just had money on my desk. We're talking about making U.S. dollars and bringing the U.S. dollars into Jamaica. Um, which, you know, I love it when you're earning in a currency that is a strong currency, you bring it into Jamaica and you convert it and you spend it there. So here's the thing. What skills do you currently have that you could turn into an online business? Let me give you some examples. Denise Williams has an amazing voice. So what could she do? People would pay her to do voiceover. She turns on her mic. She does voiceover. She reads a script or a commercial and she gets paid for that. What else? She is an excellent interviewer. So (laughs) people could pay her to learn um, interviewing skills from an expert who has been on TV. Like she throws in all of her credentials to do that as well. So you really need to think about the skills that you currently have and who you are and what you can do with that skill to make money online. And as we're talking about Denise as a really good example, now we're thinking about all the other skills that lady has. She's great in real estate. She is a great writer. She is an amazing listener, right? (laughs) <laughs> she's great at helping people build their brands. So all of the things that she knows that pe- that she is good at, she can monetize online on the internet. Now, my favorite website to do this is called Fiverr. So Denise would set up a profile on Fiverr, pick the service that she wanted to start off with and offer all of these different services online, charge for them, get paid, use that money to pay off her debt, build her investment portfolio, right? So yeah. what do you have? What what skill do you have that you could use to earn online with? That's the first thing that you need to, to, to write down. So I'm going to give you 15 seconds. You're going to grab your pen and paper or type it on your computer. Um, I'm writing down the note for you guys. <laughs> type it on your computer and write down some of the skills that you currently have that you could monetize. These are skills that an employer might have paid you for, like career skills, or these could be skills that you've learned from watching YouTube video, taking one of my courses or one of Denise's. So write them down and you can even put them in the chat box. Let's see, what are some of the skills that you have that you know people would it pay you for? Uh, all right, let's see what you guys are going to type in. Well, can I jump in here and yeah. say, Alicia, I want to say that one of the challenges that people get stuck in debt is almost the same emotion why they can't think of a skill. There's right. fear, there's shame. There is nobody approves of me. I don't know what to think. And I, I, it's just amazing. How do you advise your customers, your clients, the people you've been training for 20 years to get over it? 
Yes. And so a lot of us have what we call limiting beliefs where we don't think that we're good enough. But here's the thing. All you need to know are stories of other people who've done it and understand that it's possible for you. And this is something that you can do as well. Listen, one of my students, Sonia, she has a seventh grade education. She dropped out of high school, has a seventh grade education. But guess what? She makes about $6,000 a month online. She taught wow. her boyfriend how to do it as well. He's making $6,000 a month. And I only wow. talk in what currency? U.S. dollars. So, <laughs> so you don't have to have a certain education level. The Here's the thing about the internet. The internet is the great equalizer. The internet does not care what your income level is. It doesn't care what your race is. It doesn't care how old you are. I've had students start that were past retirement age and really take um, advantage of this. So here's the thing. It really is what you're passionate about, what you know that you could do, that you can put out there as your business. But just say, you know what I mean? Do yeah. not, right? Do not think for just one minute that you do not have what it takes to start an online business because you absolutely do. You have what it takes to start an online business. And but Alicia, we yeah. have a response. Someone okay. said, I don't even know how to answer Alicia's question. Mm -hmm. And I, I've seen yeah, that. Right. There's just so much Shame. I mean, how many countries have you trained in over the years, Alicia? How many? I don't even know. I've trained Nigeria, South Africa, all over the U.S., of course, the Caribbean, um, U.K., Australia, New Zealand. But here's the thing. Wow. We all have something that someone else will pay us for. Let me tell you a story. I have one of my students, she's in Montego Bay, and people pay her to listen to them. So she charges for 30 minutes, I think it's $35 for you to, for her to call you, and you tell her your problems for 30 minutes, <laughs> and she just listens to you. So my unlimited good, are you a good listener? Can you listen? So here's the thing, especially in the times that we're in now, people have stuff going on, and they need someone to just listen to them, and they will pay for that. So here's the thing, if you ever want to set that up as a business, all you need to know is that as you're listening to someone, there's three things that you need to say. Thing okay, number I'm one is notes. I'm taking <laughs> notes. I'm putting the notes in the chat. Okay, let's go. Thing number one is uh-huh, right? So as they're talking, <laughs> you say, uh-huh. And thing number two is tell me more. <laughs> yes. What happens when you say that to someone, right? Uh-huh. Tell me more. And oh, that's interesting. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Oh, that's interesting. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Oh, that's interesting. Right? So there are so many things. <laughs> that person just said, yes, I'd be happy for people to call me so I can just listen. There is one of our students in Kingston. Denise actually knows her. Her name is Renee. And um, she set up a service, a similar service like this, but for elderly people. So I actually hired her to call my dad and I hope my dad is not watching right now, Denise. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I hired her to call my dad because my dad likes to talk, you know, he's going to talk about, you know, the school. He went to Oberlin. He's going to talk about Oberlin. He's going to talk about May Penn and the farm. He's going to go all the way back to St. Elizabeth. So he, you know, he likes to talk. So I hired her to call my dad and I'm like, just tell him that you're a student of mine. And you asked for his number so you could talk to him just about the program and that kind of stuff. They talked for an hour and it made my dad so happy. He called me and said, oh, Renee, call me. Great conversation. Can't wait to talk to her again. Right. So you set up a service that says, I will talk to your elderly parents twice a week, check in on them, report back to you and tell you how they're doing it, what's going on in their life. So there's so much that you could do that just being creative and thinking about it, you go beyond the scope of just traditional things that you can get paid to do. Everybody knows they can get paid to do 
administrative work. They can get paid to do graphic design. Like there's a lot of things that you can get paid to do. But what if you took the skills that you currently have and maybe these are skills that you don't know about? Because as I just rattled out Denise's skills and the things that she's good at, if I asked her and put her on the spot, Denise, tell me really quick, what are five things that you're good at that you could use to make money online? I guarantee she would have forgot the listening. She probably wouldn't have thrown in the real estate, right? So for homework, find five people, five people and ask them, hey, what am I good at? I want to start an online business based on my skills. What am I good at? What are some of the things that you think I'm good at? They might tell you you're good at cooking. I have a student who gets on Skype and helps people, mostly Americans, to cook Jamaican food. She sends them the recipe. They pay her for 30 minutes and she helps them in the kitchen. They put on their laptop and webcam. And while they're cooking, she's watching and giving them direction. They love it. They yeah. love it. It's an experience for them. You can sell experiences. Yes. Right? Yes. I, I have a friend that's an artist and her daughter does awesome cartoons, adult cartoons. I've been encouraging her to put the cartoons on Etsy, which is an art uh, platform, encouraging them to use Pinterest. Yeah. So, I mean, you're right. I think all of us are guilty of not being aware of what we know about ourselves. That's right. That's right. And, and you know what, Denise, I'm going to go to my favorite website and just walk through one website that everybody can use to start a business. So I'm going to share my screen. If you guys are ready for this, type ready in the comments, because this is going to be a lot of fun. That's right. We're going to have some fun. And Denise, feel free to cut me off if I am going too long. But I wanted no. to just... Okay. All okay. right. I just want to but share you with can, you. you can sh is it Fiverr? You can share the screen because... I don't know if you can, uh, it's I can Canva. Put fiber. Canva. Oh, so, oh my God. I love it. <laughs> so look in the waiting room, Denise, and you'll see okay. that I shared my screen ah, Click on that yes. image and move it up for me. All right. Thank you. Yeah. So this website, canva.com is the most amazing website on the planet. A second to the website where you can sell your services on, which is called fiber. But here's the thing. On Canva, you can do so many things that people will pay you for. So let's say that Denise needs a logo for her new clothing line. Okay, so I'm going to go to Fiverr and I'm going to type in the word logo and I'm going to click on logo and it's going to pull up all of these amazing logo templates and I can look through these templates and pick one to now edit for Denise's new business. So I can click create a blank logo and that opens up, let me make my screen a little bit bigger. Yeah. That opens up all of these logos right here that I can pick from. They even have some animated logos that I can pick from to design my logo around. So I'm going to click on in the fashion logo section, I'm going to click on see all. I want to see all of these fashion logos. And let's see which logo design that I want to use for Denise's fashion line. And you know what? I can even start from scratch and bring in any image that I want. But I'm just kind of looking to see so you guys can get a sense of... Um, Hmm, maybe it, it'll be a design. The hardest part about Fiverr for me is these are all so good. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I pick one, right? So, all right, this kind of looks like Denise there, such a cute little dress. The first thing that I want to do is I'm going to make the background white, okay? And then let's say, what is her clothing line going to be called? Anybody have any ideas? Hot stuff, all right? Yes. <laughs> it's called hot stuff fashion boutique. Um, you know what? I'm not too fond of that, that font for hot stuff. So I'm going to click and she likes, you know, she's very girly. I, I want to pick like a nice font. I kind of like this Brittany font there, hot stuff, fashion boutique. 
And so now I just created a logo for Denise's business. Denise has to pay me. I created her logo and I'm done just like that. Now, let's say that Denise is going to send me her own image to put there. I go to my uploads. I upload it from my computer and I put her own image there. Or if we want a different image of a dress, I'm going to type in dress. And then we're going to get all these, you know, women in dresses. And we could pick one of these images to put in. Or, you know, if we want, let me take this out. If we want a dress with a white background. Oops. Uh, we can put this dress in. And then we, I just have to move it around. Then we've got hot stuff, fashion boutique, or whatever she wants to do to make her cute little logo. So there's so many tools out there right now, and technology is blows my mind with what we can do and how we can create a business around things just like this. I'll do one more Canva example really quickly. And that is, uh, let's do ebook covers. So ebook covers are really popular right now because so many people wrote books during the pandemic, want to get them online. And really, there's so many books being uploaded every day. So let's click on create a blank cover. And we've got a blank cover right here. And now I can look at all of these different book cover designs that I can use as my um, template for Denise's book. All right. So Wow, look at all of these. This is the hardest part is picking which cover you want to use because they're all so unique and so nice, right? Uh, all right, so just looking at some of the other ones that are here. So I kind of like this one, the Summer Hope. All right, let's change it from the Summer Hope to about, uh, is that a capital B? About last night, capital N, <laughs> and then uh, let's do Denise, <laughs> just having fun with her. Yes, 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 about last night, I went to sleep. <laughs> uh, then it says, um, let's see what happens on the beach never stays in the waves i don't know i'm not a writer Ooh, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay and i'm just making that look a little bit better now i don't really like this photo so i want our own photo there so i'm going to delete that photo and then I'm going to go into the photo section and I'm going to type in romance, right? Because we're talking about last night. Hmm. So lots of good romance photos here. Which one do we choose? We could choose one with a couple. We could choose one that's like an image like flowers. Here's kind of a nice one to put there. About last night. Can't really see the people behind it too good. So I'm just doing this to show you like, all of the features of Canva. So now I can design it like that. I can even make the book cover. Let me make my screen a little bit bigger. So now you could do a whole business selling ebook cover designs to who? You'd be selling them to authors. And there you see, I changed the transparency of it a little bit so it looks a little bit different. Anyway, just a quick example of Canva and how you could use this to. Boom, bam, shaka laka, Bridget. <laughs> um, create ebook cover designs. So I love to use Canva. It's something that I use every day, even though I have graphic designers on staff, because when I want something done really quickly, I get it done here. So now for all of you watching as you're building your brand and, and you're building your business, you can create your own logos, your own flyers, your own amazing posts for Instagram, your own stories, whatever you want. But you know what else you can use this software for? 
you can monetize it and start charging people and make money. So let me give you a business that you could start tomorrow. Number one is you could post on social media. I design logos for businesses. If you're starting your new business and want a logo design, contact me. $50 US for a logo to be designed, whatever you want. The other thing you could do that's always trending is charge people to create their posts for Instagram. What? So go to Instagram, type in Instagram post, boom, click on the first thing that's right there with Instagram posts. And now it gives you all of these different Instagram templates that you can use. You can use these templates and promote, you know, the brand, the company that you are trying to promote. So these, these templates, aren't they amazing? There's so many templates here that you can use. It just keeps going on and on and on as I look at the templates. So let's say Denise has a fashion store. So we're going to click on this image right here. And I would bring in the logo that I designed. I don't have it because I didn't download it, but we would bring in the hot stuff logo. But now Denise would give us photos of you know, the items that are in stock in her store, and we would put it there right on the screen. So what I can do is I can go into photos and I'm going to search for dress. I don't know. And now I'm going to put in this lady right here, drop it there, triple click it, move it over. I'm doing this so you guys have a quick lesson in Canva right here on Denise's Summit. All right, so here's another dress that's in stock. <laughs> so I want to put this lady in with her dress, but I don't want the background. So I'm going to click on the image. I'm going to effects, and I'm going to click background remover. Oh, let me just chill while Canva does all of the work. Woo! Come on. Oh, darn it. <laughs> it's like, check your connection. It's not working. All right. <sighs> if it's not working, I know my connections. I have like 50 million windows open, two computers running, two cell phones. So I might be using up all my Wi-Fi, but there, there it goes. There it did it for me. All right. So this was the original image right there, the girl with the background, but I, I can't use that background. Denise sent me the picture with the background. I don't need it. Oops. So <laughs> what did I do? Did I move it too much? Hang on one second. So there she is now. Um, and I'm messing everything up. Hang on one second. Let me go back. I love the undo button, by the way. You can press undo and undo a lot of stuff. So I have to just do that one more time. Background remover. Let me make my screen a little bit bigger because I'm causing it to have some problems. But anyway, you can just take two images, put them on an Instagram post, and now I can charge Denise for this post about the new arrivals. And she's going to post this on her Instagram or hire me to do it for her. You know what? I want that girl to be behind those flowers. So I'm going to click on position at the top. I'm going to click move it backwards. There we go. Give my computer a minute to catch up to me. Oh, I did too far back now. Um, but anyway, you can move the position of the images on the page and on the, the image that I'm creating right here and have a lot of fun with it. So there you go. We just created an image real quick for Denise's Instagram and all of that using this amazing tool called Canva. So I really encourage you guys to check it out give it a go and you can create a whole business around Canva and all this kind of stuff here. So here's the thing, what I want you guys to know before I run off. <laughs> and that is that when it comes to having debt, there, there's a lot of comments that I get from my students that really, and building your credit that really touch home. And it's those students who say, I was able to pay off all my bills. I'm now living debt free. I was able to buy what I needed with my side income. And as you are building your business, it's really important to always ask yourself, 
what can I do to earn extra income so that I can pay off my debt, right? Pay off the things that I owe and also create that lifestyle that I want. Um, I, I'm often teased a lot because in, in my lifestyle, I don't have an alarm clock. I wake up when I need to, you know, I do have commitments like this and I'm managing my business, but I'm an entrepreneur. And for the past 21 years, the only boss I've ever had is myself. And I must say that I'm a really good boss. I give myself unlimited vacation time, unlimited talk on the phone to whoever I want time during the hours of nine to five. <laughs> I give myself the freedom to travel wherever I want. And I put it on the company credit card wherever I want to go and travel. And I make sure it's tax deductible. Like I am such a great boss. And for 21 years, I've had this great boss. <laughs> I'm just playing with you guys. So when you think about what you what your goals are and what your dreams are. Dream about being your own boss. Now, if you work for someone else, I'm not saying quit your job, keep working for them. But what do you do after work and on weekends and on your holidays and on your sick days, right? Build your online business. And when your online business income exceeds the income that you're making in that nine to five, by three times, now you can start to think of just being your own boss. But, you know, I want to be financially <laughs> responsible as a speaker here and say, make sure that as you earn that extra income, you're paying off your debt, you're managing your finances properly. And if you're a freelancer already, and as you get into this freelancing world, you have different opportunities on how you collect money. My advice to you and something that I've learned is that as you collect your money, it could be on the Payoneer card, maybe some of you have access to PayPal, well, however you're collecting your money, run it through a Jamaican bank account. Because when you go to that bank for your mortgage or your car loan or whatever it is that you want, and they look at your income as an entrepreneur, they're looking at the income that has flown through the bank accounts. They're not going to go look at the Payoneer statements. They're looking at the income in your bank accounts. So make sure that you deposit the money in your bank account and flow it through from day number one. I didn't know this before when I first started teaching this 10 years ago or almost 11 years ago in Jamaica. Denise, that Denise was there the first time I spoke um, in Jamaica and we've been best friends ever since. I'm just calling myself her best friend. She doesn't know that. No, 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 no. no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> besties, besties. Love you. Love you. Say it publicly. Besties. Yes. <laughs> I just like declared it. Um, yes. But here's the thing. You, you have to make sure that as you're earning online, there's a track record of your earning because when you have that, now you can leverage it. As a business owner, an entrepreneur, you need to be able to leverage what you're doing in being your own boss. Even if you have a nine to five, go to the company's office, register your business, get a business bank account, run your money through the business. I don't care how much you make. Have that track record as a business owner. And it's one of the smartest decisions you can ever make as an entrepreneur, right? Whether you are in Jamaica, or you're watching this outside of Jamaica, the same holds true. Register your business, put your money in your business bank account so you can leverage your business and do it now. Sometimes in order to get a business loan, you have to have a history. A lot of, um, in the US, a lot of the banks will say they want you to have a two-year history of being in business. That means you need to start your history today. Go register your company. Come on, guys, go register your company and start that history today. Whenever I teach a student, um, and I've got a class that I'm teaching after this. I'm going to tell my students, did you go register your bank account? It was class number one, register your business, get a business bank account. And you're going to thank me down the road when you took the action, even if you hadn't made a penny yet, but you took the action to start building that history. Because a, a clock is always ticking when it comes to leveraging finances through a business and make sure that the first day <laughs> that you start is the day, the first day that you start is the day that you 
found out the information and knew that you had to make something happen. I don't care. You can change the business name later. You know, I had um, a client of mine who for three weeks, she could not think of the colors that she wanted on her logo and what logo design she wanted. So I met with her and I'm like, did you register your business? You have a business bank account. I still can't figure out my logo colors. I'm like, what? Your logo colors? Who cares about your logo colors? Get someone to do it for you. Hire someone to do it for you and keep going. Go, 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 go. Sitting around for three weeks waiting on logo colors to come to you in your dreams is not going to help you to get to your goal. So do things fast, keep moving. And as an entrepreneur, remember that it's up to you how much you earn. For us entrepreneurs, there is no financial ceiling. There, There's so many opportunities and things that we have and that we can accomplish as entrepreneurs. Heck, last month, I just had delivery on a car that I won through a marketing yes! competition. I saw the post is red. It's red. I need to make a better post. I will soon. But here's the thing. I entered a marketing competition and won a car. Like, yes. you know, as entrepreneurs, there's so much that we can do. And every day I'm learning how to be a better business owner. And for me, I'm in marketing and a better marketer. So what are you doing every day to push yourself forward? And I'll leave you yes. with this. There are two books that I recommend, right? Okay. And they're both by an author named Daniel Presley. I was trying to see if I have it on my desk. But the first one is called Key Person of Influence. You need to learn how to be a key person of influence. Denise is a key person of influence. What does that mean? She has influence. She's on the TV. She's in the news. She's got a column in the newspaper. She's got a YouTube show. She is a person of influence, right? What are you doing to make yourself a person of influence? I don't care if you have a nine to five job. You can still be a key person of influence in whatever niche that you choose. And the second book is called Oversubscribed right by Daniel Presley. So I have both of those books, physical print. I also have them on, on my phone, on audible. I also have it on my Amazon echo. When I play it, sometimes the information never gets old. Read those two books, reading list, key person of influence and oversubscribed. Denise, I know that I went over my time, but thank you so much for having <laughs> oh, me thank here. You. Thank you. Thank you. I want to acknowledge the comment about us being open, Gail. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. The comments were coming. Oh, my God. Kay Natural says two of her Audible credits have been sorted. <laughs> so, Alicia, thank you so much. And let me tell you, you know what I take from this outside of the practical ways to uh, make money? Um, I want, you know, just to bring it back home. Being an online entrepreneur and handling your debt require, I think this requires the same thing, knowing yourself, getting past emotional blocks. I think it yes. comes back to that. Yes. Knowing your talents, yes. knowing yourself. I think a lot of us, so for some, a lot of us were forced into entrepreneurship. We were like, oh, this is my career path. It was like, I can't get a job, so I might as well try but I think a lot of us are still waiting on approval to get started. So can you give us approval, Alicia? Do we have your blessing? <laughs> you guys have my stamp of approval. It's time that you go global and make that money. So have fun <laughs> with it. Be online entrepreneur stamp of approval sent. Thank you, Alicia. Blessings. And you know, whenever you have your next global entrepreneur summit i'll be there i'm inviting myself <laughs> thank you so much thank you bye everybody bye bye, -bye.